Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of <clears throat> Notes. Here we have the fabulous Mrs. E. And here we have the amazing Mrs. Murphy. Thank you, thank you. Today, we are going to teach you guys 1E, which is, I can illustrate atomic structure by drawing board diagrams of various atoms. But Mrs. E, what does the word illustrate mean? Well, the word illustrate means to draw. Yay, you guys get to draw. Today we get to draw fun stuff like atoms. And lines and circles. Not really lines. It's going to be fabulous. It is. And I know you guys like to doodle. So this is perfect. All right. All so right. should we show them how to do one? We should, Mrs. Z. Right. How about uh, you draw, I read instructions? Oh, sounds good. I'll go first. All right. So let's do, since we're doing board diagrams, <gasps> let's show them how to do Bora. Oh, Mrs. Z, you're so funny. Because board diagrams are not boring, remember? No, they are fascinating. This is the most exciting element on the periodic table, ladies and gentlemen, boron. So, in order to, or before we even draw anything resembling a board diagram, we need to know a few things. Now, that goes with the first step, right, Mrs. Murphy? Sure does. Step number one, you need to draw a circle and write the number of protons and neutrons. Okay, so the circle, I think we can all handle. Oh, snap. Beautiful circle, Mrs. Mm -hmm. I took an art class, you can tell. <laughs> so, in the circle, we need to find the number of protons and neutrons. So we put P plus and then N with a little zero. Because why does the N have a zero, Mrs. E? Because it's neutral. That's right, not ne negative. Neutrons neutral. are neutral. No okay. charge. So I gotta find that first. And how do I find that? Well, by looking at the periodic table. In boron's little square, in boron's little, you know, stretch of real estate on the periodic table, you have to look at the atomic number, which is usually up here. So boron has an atomic number of five, that means it has five, five. protons. So you put five here. Neutrons, you gotta get that by the mass number minus the atomic number. So this atomic mass, even though it reads 10.811, I know you guys are like, I, I must choose all the numbers. No, yeah. round, rounding good. So 10.8 rounds to 11. So I have 11 minus 5, and I'm going to do this without a calculator, ladies and gentlemen. I know, oh, prepare yourselves. Oh. That would be 6. Oh, beautiful, Mrs. Easy. Beautiful. So right. smart. So I'm going to put 6 right there. Use that for a second. Okay. So that's the first step. Ms. Murphy, what's the second step? second step is to determine the number of energy levels. And I noticed you wrote row number. Sure did. Well, you got to know what row. Now, the fancy word for row is the period, right? So you got to know right. what, you know, the period or row it's in. So boron is right here on my big periodic table. So that means here's row one, even though there's only two of them. That's still a row. And then you've got boron in row two. So it's got two energy levels. Therefore, we need to draw two circles. Okay. So, shazam, energy level's done. Now, what's the third step, Mrs. Murphy? Third step, Mrs. Z, is to determine the number of electrons. And I noticed you have so astutely written atomic number. Sure did. Because it's the same it is. as the atomic number. Yeah. All right. So, the atomic number is the number of protons, so that means it has five electrons. So, your last step. What do I need to draw? You need to draw this beautiful filled in dot for each electron. So I'm gonna have five little dots. You're gonna have five little dots, but Mrs. Z, okay, you need to know something. I need to know anything. <laughs> you need to know everything. <laughs> the first energy level oh, can only yeah, have, have two. One, two. So what did you, you say the first energy first level? First energy has... level only has two. Okay. Those. So Here's my first energy level, it's the first circle I drew, so I'm going to draw one electron and then another electron. No more. Stop. Stop. And you notice how I didn't draw them next to each other. No. Spread them out. Got 12 and 6. All right. So two only. If we see that you have more than two in there, you have violated the law of Born diagrams and Wrong. we are coming after you. Wrong. All right. So you've got two there. So I've got two. But I need five. You sure do, Mrs. E. So I gotta put some, so I'm, I'm done with this level, I gotta go up to the next level. That's right. So I gotta go, I need three more. Done. Very good. Okay. Beautiful. And notice how I did that, I didn't pair them up. One, two, three. Now if I had more than that, I would have continued. That's right. And then now wait, how many can this level hold? The rest of those energy levels can have eight. So if I had like seven, 
said more. They could all hold eight. But just that that first one can only yep. hold two. Two. That's exactly right. the rule. Only two in the first one. And why is that the rule? Because that's the way it is. All right? There is no rhyme or that's just what atoms do. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So there's boron. Look at that. Exciting miss. All right. You get a draw. Aren't you so excited? And guess who gets to draw now? <gasps> Miss me, Murphy. Me. Hey, which one are you going to do? Um, you know what? There's so many choices. There are. I'm going to do calcium. <gasps> Ooh, an ambitious one. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm an overachiever. Okay, I'll let you draw and I'll remind you of the steps. All right. Thanks, Mrs. E. No problem. I'm here so, for you. So, what's the first step I need to do, Mrs. E? Uh, you need to draw a circle. All right. Circle. Done. <laughs> Step one accomplished. And now you need to write the number of protons and neutrons in that circle. On it, Mrs. E. Protons, neutrons. So protons, again, was the atomic number, right? Yes. All right. So here's calcium all the way over here. Atomic number of 20. That means I have 20 protons. That's a lot. That is a lot. Neutrons, again, was mass number minus atomic number? Yes. All right. So I have a mass number that's rounded to 40. I got 40 minus 20. Do me that calculator! Do that calculator! 20! Go! Oh, genius! Good job. All right. What's next, Mrs. E? Okay, so now you have to determine the number of energy levels. How many other circles around that? All so right. What row is it in? What row? Let's see. Calcium is right here in the fourth row, so we have four energy levels. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see if I can handle this. One, two, Three. Oh, I get to go get that one. Four. Oh, I made it. All right. Ooh. That was a lot. Next step, Mrs. Z, e, I need to determine the number of electrons. Oh, okay. And that was okay. the same as a proton, right? Yes, the atomic number. Atomic number, which we already know is 20. So that means I have 20 electrons. electrons. That's a lot. That's a lot of dots. All right. <clears throat> you want this one? I do. I want the pretty color. There we go. All, All right. right, let's see if I can handle this. Oh, stretch out. It's a lot of drawing. One, two. Done. Oh, oh. first energy level only has two. Only two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Whoop. So. Awesome. Look at what Mrs. Murphy did. Notice how she drew them alone and then she started to pair them. But no more than? No more than eight. So we got two, four, six, eight in that circle. All right. So I left You're off at 10. At 10. Okay. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Woo. 19. Go to the next one. 20. 20. Oh, All right. my goodness. Told you, there was a lot of electrons. You okay? I, Do you I need a, like a I Gatorade? might need to get a drink of water. So. Gatorade recovery? Yeah. Okay. All right. That's so, whew. That's the excitement. Beautiful. Tons of it. And look how pretty it is. Awesome. It's almost like Christmas lights. Right. So, should we maybe show them a couple more examples just so they know? Yeah, I think so. And how about I pick one for you? Okay. All Don't right. Don't be a jerk. I am. I'm going to <laughs> pick. You're a jerk. Ooh. How about chlorine, Mrs. E? Can you handle it? I, you know, consider it broth. All right. All bring right. it. You want to bring it? It's broth. Bring it. So I'm going to go, I'm gonna see if I can do it on yep. my own. I'm not even going to help you at all. Yeah, I don't want your help. All right. So first thing is I'm going to draw a circle. The bam And I need to know the number of protons and neutrons. So I'm doing chlorine, which is right here. And it's got an atomic number of 17. So it's got 17 protons, because they're the same. Atomic number, number of protons. So then the number of neutrons, well, this has an atomic mass of 35. <coughs> I'm going to round down. So 35 minus 17, no calculator. That would be 18. All right? She's pretty so, smart, guys. Oh. So got 18 neutrons. So that's step one. <sighs> Breath. Okay, step two, determine the number of energy levels. Let's see, what row is it in? One, two, three. Shazam! So I gotta draw three. One, two, three. Okay, draw three. Okay, now, I gotta know how many electrons go in those energy levels. That's the same as the atomic number. So I have 17 electrons this time. So I'm going to put or start counting here. One, 
two. First one only has two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, <gasps> and seventeen. Bye bye. Well, way to go, Mrs. E. You oh, did it. I know. Oh, I didn't have as your... many oh. electrons as you. But I, I, I managed to pull it off. Okay, I'm still impressed. Very All proud right. of you. Well, let me pick one for you. All now, right. this one is going to look easy, but there's a little trick to this one. Bring it. I can handle How it. How about you do hydrogen? I would love to. Oh, yeah, I do. All right. All All right. right. <laughs> hydrogen. Now, I'm going to do this one all on my own. Mm -hmm. Draw a circle. Well, bam, it's done. Uh, protons and neutrons. Protons, neutrons. Remember, I know the protons is the atomic number. Hydrogen, one. It has one. That's not a lot of electrons. No, it's not. It's so or protons, I'm sorry. Neutrons, I need to take the mass number, which is also one, minus atomic number gives. Miss Z, that can't be right. Zero neutrons? Zero is a number. So that's okay? Yeah, they can have a little proton hanging around the middle. Nobody says they have to have neutrons. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. All right, so proton one, neutron zero. Now I need to draw my energy levels. Well, let's see. What row is it in? It is in the first row. Mm -hmm. Which is so easy. <laughs> one energy level. Electrons, obviously the same as protons, which is one. One electron. I don't know if I can handle this, Mrs. Z. Uh, I don't know. It's a lot of drawing. You were worn out from those 20 before. One. Bam! Boom! Done! It's done! It is done. And notice again, yeah, you can have zero neutrons. This that's is okay. the section to the rule. Hydrogen's the only one that's kind of weird like yeah. that. All right. All right, so man, we've gone through four examples. A lot of examples. I think they should know how to do these by I now. think so too. You feeling pretty good? You ready for some practice on your own? I hope so. Yeah. You should be. So go to the website to get the practice. And remember, if you need any other questions, either watch this lovely video that Mrs. E and myself put together, or raise your hand in class and come seek us out, and we will be more than happy to answer some questions. And I know you're going to be so excited to be jumping out of your seat. More diagrams. And you Not might be boring. listening to in your head. What's it called, Mrs. E? Oh, yeah. Because now, that's how we do it. Choo, 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 